Hello mate and welcome to Puzzle Combat Where you match three pieces, find yourself a hero with some superpowers And destroy the enemy, make as many alliances as you can and win the game <laughs> Howdy folks Alright, so come over to my alt account here. So I'm just gonna do a breakdown on Tela. And I put some emblems on Tela so we can talk a little bit about that because I have said many, many times I'm not a fan of putting emblems on three stars. As you can see, I got some emblems on Roshan too. So it's a little bit different here in my alt account. And has anyone ever noticed that Tella and Vavera look like their sisters? Just curious. Look at that. They're sisters. They gotta be. They look so much alike. Alright. Tella, Tella, Bobella. Let's do a rundown on you. So, she looks Italian, so I can say Ciao Bella. Ciao Tella. <laughs> I Oh man, I think I learned from my dad the lame dad jokes. It's very sad I'm turning into the lame dad joke teller. <laughs> Alright, Gorilla Medicine. So she is strictly a healer. And that is it. Pretty simple, straightforward, special. 203 health for all allies. So where does this put her? Well, this puts her as an A- minus hero. It's pretty good. Uh, she is quite handy actually. So I did put some emblems on her here. Being a free to play account, I gotta go with what I'm given. I'm not doing a lot of pulls. I do have a TS20 going. Uh, this one was my first healer here which was good. I did a 10 pull on green when I first started because I could not land any green heroes. It was very sad. So I do have a variety of green now, but she was my healer for a really long time. My main healer on my defense until I snagged this lady. Five star healer. So Tella is still used quite often. And in my war, one of my war teams also pretty much on war machines when going up against blue war machines as well. We're at eight and nine stars. And of course they hit like a truck uh, when you're using a lot of three stars still. So I need some healing at that point. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so she gets used quite often. So I'll, I'll leave the talents on her for quite a while, I'm sure. But let's break down what she does. So she only has a three on the war machine out of five, which is fine. That's understandable. She's not a striking hero. However, I find her quite handy at this point for war machines, especially in a green stack against the blue ones. I do need that healing to go off and keep my other healers alive or heroes alive for the whole battle. Cause yeah, nine star, you don't last long against a nine star blue if you don't have a little bit of healing in there. So she does come in handy for me to still continue to take on the war machine. Now she has a four on offense and a four on defense. Pretty good. And that all contributes to that A minus rating. So she is handy. Uh, now her stats are okay. Uh, the defense, having her defense at 444 is pretty cool. And the talent grid adds a lot to that because I did go down the healing and defense path as much as I could. All right, so medic. Battlefield trauma care. 3% chance to do the healing spray. 
And that certainly comes in handy fighting more machines. So right now she has 9% chance to do that healing spray. And I don't think I'm going to put any more emblems into her though, but if I did, that'd be 12, 15 percent chance to do that healing spray overall. Um, man, that has messed me up too in raids, the healing spray sometimes. You just get a hero right down there and you think you got him out and the healing spray goes off. It's annoying. So 36 health points, 18 defense points down that path. Another 36 health points there. Um, this time I had to take an attack in, which was fine, except she never attacks, so it's kind of wasted. And then I went health, health again, again, and then defense. So I think I'm probably going to leave it there because it's just not worth putting any more emblems into her. However, they can stay on her until I need them for someone else down the road. And at that point, I'll just reset her and I'll use the one, one of my reset emblems. They don't come very often. So I am kind of choosy, but I'm not going to pay 13 gold because resetting with the gold only gets me 95% of the consumed emblems back. Nuts to that. But if I use the reset token and reset her like I just did, I get all of them back. So I guess I'm not, <laughs> I wasn't thinking when I clicked that, I guess I'm not leaving the <laughs> emblems on her. I'm almost done. Um, Anastasia there, who is the same class and they're going to end up on her, but it'll just, it'll take me another couple weeks to finish Anastasia. So I was probably going to get them off of Tella then um, because why would I leave them when Anastasia is going to end up in my defense? And I think Anastasia actually is in my defense now. Yeah, she's over there in the corner. So when she gets stronger, I'm probably going to take Rana out maybe. I'll be redoing this defense though. But yeah, she's still too... Uh, Oh, she's still too weak. Um, not as easy in a, of a takeout as she was when she was at 480. So I'm going to need those emblems off of Tella anyway. But yeah, definitely guys, use your reset emblems there. And get at least 100% of your emblems back instead of, instead of the 95% with resetting her with gold. So you just pay gold plus you only get 95% back. Like it's already bad enough. You never get any of that food and metal returned, but all right. So let's look at what that did to her special. So it's still 203 health for all allies, but now her, look at the difference in her health and her defenses. So her health was at 1100. So the talents, the emblems really do help. And I was emphasizing what she was already good at, which was healing and defenses. So, but that's okay. I am happy to have those back because they will be allocated, reallocated to Miss Anastasia. All right. So what is her speed is average 53. Now, if I kept going, I would eventually hit the speed here 2% which would be 54. So she's still in that average category where it takes 10 tiles to charge her up. And again there's no green speed weapons generally speaking. So there's the Bargo that was the weapon of the month that has six speed points on it. So if you did take her all that way down in the talent grid and you had that Bargo, that was the weapon of the month a few months ago, that has six speed points on it. And that would put her at 59, which would speed her up by a tile. It would drop a tile down to nine from 10. So that's a good option, but 
Yeah, what's the other choice besides speed? Oh yeah, I'd I'd end up doing critical chance if I went all the way down here. Because SG hates the color green and just doesn't give us too many good options for weapons in green, unfortunately. Uh, the two weapon of the months, though, that were green that they released, the one that's got speed on it, and then the last one last month was uh, a dodge weapon, so those, of course, are pretty highly coveted. So they ended up being decent options, but generally speaking, there aren't a lot of decent options, so... Okay, let's run through the master weapons for her. So, being a defensive hero, you would want the defensive ones. Uh, I th I, there's quite a number of weapons that will help her, though. So the Bennett is bleed. Offensively based. Not super helpful for her. However, if you got her in a green stack... Uh, that would be good to put on a different hero. Same with this one. With the more bleed damage from this one as well. Um, good for taking into the war machine battles, of course. And the Glim and the Bronco Snake Bite, they're both the same. So, uh, Master Weapons aren't really for her being a defensively based hero. They are all offensive perks. So you would want them on your other heroes in a green stack. So I, yeah, I personally wouldn't use any of them on her. However, and I, I would definitely put them on other heroes. Okay, so I'm in my alt account here. I have a few of these weapons, but not too many, so we're gonna have to run through the summon gates here to get most of these. Alright, critical chance. Good for offense for the tile damage. Blah on the armor damage. Uh, the RPG, this is a good defensive weapon for her. 19% resistance and then the 155 health points. Sweet! And Reptilian. Alright, critical chance again based. This is... It's unfortunately unfortunate that they did two weapons that are basically the same. The Assassin and the Reptilian have basically the same weapons perks. And there's only so much choice for 5 star weapons. And they duplicated the bonus properties. Which is really too bad. 28% chance though. So good if you're on offense with her. The Sternok, that is a health weapon. And I have the Leaf Blade. I think I might have most of these now. Easy pro, dodge, no brainer to put on uh, defense. Dodge is king. Okay, so I have the snake bite, but it's not leveled yet. I still need four star weapons to be able to do that, which don't come very often when you're free to play. <laughs> Okay, so Leaf Blade is just armor damage. Um, not a bad attack stat, but she's not a, an attacking hero. So I go with this one when I use her. The health points. And not bad stats, and then you've got the 180 for defense. Yeah, that's much better. I like that one. And then the Assault is Resistance, uh, which is cool. The, if you're first starting out and you've got Tella as a healer, this is a good one to put on her for defense with the resistance to burn and bleed, etc. 7% chance to resist, that is good. And then this, of course, offensive base with the critical chance. So I like this one for offensive based. Um, I do tend to always put the Sternok on her, though. It uh, doesn't matter what, if it's a war hit or a war machine hit, I'm using the Sternok. Yeah. So overall, she's definitely worth it to put the resources in. And 
Yeah, uh, put a defensive weapon on her if you get one. Yeah, it's unfortunate that there just isn't more choice. I'm sure there will be down the road. Uh, they'll keep on releasing um, new weapons of the month and I'm sure they'll be a little bit more variety. They're hard to get though. Like I only have, I only get so many tickets to turn in being free to play as well. I don't, I don't buy anything here now, not even the VIP or the Path of Valor, which is the two best values for your dollar. Um, I did buy that gem or not gem deal. It's a gem deal in EMP. Uh, I did buy that gold deal where everybody got gold in the Alliance. That's about the only thing I will s spend on in here where you got 300 gold and then everybody else in the Alliance gets 300 or 30 a piece which is pretty cool. It's nice that everybody gets something from that option. So, all right, I am running a weaponsmith level eight here though. So I should be getting some more four star weapons so I could get that Bronco at least promoted. And then when I could have that when I'm reading in that or in war or on the war machine on one of the offensive base green heroes not necessarily Tella but this is a great option and I'm hoping actually to get some more Sternox from it so we'll see so two star awful waffle two star two star all right so the majority of the time you are going to get the two stars but I'm okay with that because I need the weapons parts from it and <laughs> seeing as I'm still building up and I don't have much variety I actually do need them to sacrifice every once in a while for promoting other weapons so I haven't got a heck of a lot of variety yet so I still do need those all right and what's in here Ooh, I got nine. Okay. Let's see what I got here and then I'll uh, cut it for the closer look at Tella. Food. Oh, you're going to be food too, probably, even though you're a good hero. I already have two of you. Food. 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 I already got a copy of you. Food and food and food and oh I'm probably keeping you <laughs> all right that's actually not a bad run getting Jacob and Rana however I've got copies of both of them and really only need one copy of each so I don't have a use for second copies of those two so they'll probably be going for food okay so Next to Vittoria, being the A plus rated she is, uh, Tella is probably the best of the vanilla greens, being that she's the healer. So definitely handy. A lot of people use her when first getting started. So she is most definitely worth leveling. Oh, I don't want to level. So I have one Vittoria. Do I need that? See, I got two Victorias. I am going to hang on to her for now. I want to start building up some uh, event teams soon. So I'm going to hang on to that one for the time being. Okay, guys. So that was a quick run through Atella. Is she worth it? You betcha. Take care.